This is Raphael from FastGen, and today I'm going to show you how to build a newsletter sign-up with Toddle and FastGen. So let's start right out with creating a database in FastGen. Let's call this one newsletter, and we want to have our name and email address in this. Click Create Table. That looks good. And head over to the APIs now. So we want to create a new API route. Let's call this one newsletter signup. Change the URL path to newsletter and put it to public for demonstration purposes. The next step is that we are going to use the database block. And let's call it add to database and put our query in here. So we want to insert into the just create a table newsletter with name and email. And later we are going to get our data from Toddle. So let's say values. And these are inputs.body.name and inputs.body.email. That's looking good. Save the changes, save again, and add a little response action here. Call it response. Response is success. Save it. And we can already deploy this. This is already everything we need to set up on Fastgen. So let's head over to Toddle now. OK, so now we are in Toddle. Let's create a new project. We are going to use the blank template for this one. Let's call it newsletter form and hit create project. OK, so now we have our template in here. Let's click on it, create a new branch, create, hit edit to go into the editor and toggle. And now we have this. So let's remove the paragraph. We don't really need that. And add in our submission form. So let's go here, form. That's looking good. And the first thing already works. So we want to collect the first name. But we don't need the last name. We are more interested in the email. So let's go here, change this to not your last name, but your email. And let's change the text in the button here to subscribe. And also change the text in here, not a template, but to newsletter. So this looks good already. What we now want to do is we want to connect the input fields to variables. So later, we want to pass those variables into our API call to Fastgen. So let's create a new variable right here. Call it name, initial value is nothing, and do the same for email. So it's looking good. Click on our input fields and connect the first name field to our variable name. Do the same for email with the email one. So what we now want to do is create an API call to Fastgen in here. So let's just call this one Fastgen API. It's a post request and get our URL by simply clicking the link and pasting it in here. So we need to configure our body now. We want to pass an object that has the name in it and the email, which are both connected to its respective variables. So connected to name and connected to email right here. Hit the check mark, hit done. And we are almost there. So what we now want to add is that once the user has submitted the form, it disappears. In order to do that, we are going to create a new variable. Let's call it show form and set it to true because in the beginning, we want the form to show. Hit the check mark, hit done. And we now want to connect this form variable with the show attribute of the form. So let's do that right here. So that means now, the, if the form shows or not, is dependent on the state of this variable. And what's now left to do is that we go to our form and add an event called submit. And 
what we now want to set up is that once the form is submitted, we call the fastgen API. And afterwards, we set the show form variable to false because now we want the form to disappear. Let's do it like that. Hit the check mark. And now we can already test it. So here we go. Let's put in something here. Hit subscribe. Looking good, the form disappeared. Let's check in fast then if it went through. Let's check newsletter. And this is looking great. We have our data in here. So this is how to build a newsletter sign up form with Toddle and Fastgen. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.